to the Goodwill outlet for the second time this week. I actually got somebody to take my shift at work so I could do this today. And we're having a whatnot auction tonight. So we're hoping to find lots of good stuff for whatnot, but also Depop, Mercari, and maybe even some stuff for myself if we're lucky. Let's get in there, see what we can get, and then we'll show you guys what we got at the end. for you so far baby that's pro shops oh, i was going good i think i gotta yep. go through this pretty badly me too it's a mountain and i know i'm not getting all this stuff but i've got a pretty good. scary situation going on myself over here nico found me this hat we love to see it i gotta admit when i woke up this morning i did not want to come here but i pulled through and i'm so glad we did i've been doing this trick lately too where i learned from tiktok when you wake up you say universe how good does it get and so far it's been working it's working pretty good <laughs> yes both times it's been paying off got a bunch of cute put on whatnot and depop i'm very happy <laughs> Five dollars today. I think that's a record for me. Oh, well, there's eighty-eight. All right, all right. We gotta count that. It's time for us to go get a Jimmy John sandwich to celebrate, and then I gotta load a bunch of this into whatnot because our auction starts in like three or four hours. I don't know. I'm very happy with what we got today, though. All right, babes. I am so excited to show you what we got. We got literally so much stuff i think i got like yeah 50 pounds or whatever because i spent like over 100 dollars for the first time in an eternity and honestly that was such a nice day at the bins like everybody was in such a good mood and like we're talkative and like there was a bunch of people there that were there for like the first time and everybody was just really sweet so i'm really glad we went despite me not feeling like it because it really worked out to our advantage i'm gonna start with all of the things that we sold on whatnot last night because we did have a show uh right after we got home from the bins basically so after i filmed this i gotta wash this stuff but gotta film it before i pack it up and all that so i'm just gonna kind of show you guys what each thing sold for first thing is this adorable little frog backpack he is so freaking cute you guys know i love a good animal backpack so this was a no-brainer this sold for about five dollars on whatnot also got this pink panther trucker hat which i think nico found right oh yeah this also sold for five dollars on whatnot just a cute little like y2k type hat i love a tr good trucker hat too honestly so again obviously same with this this is very like you know scene core tacky 2000s covered in sequins tiger and animal print hat this sold for i think again about five dollars on whatnot i also got this really cute elegant little beaded bag this has a chain on the inside too so you can like wear it like a real purse or you could carry it like this which i think is very like you know princess vibes this also sold for i think five dollars on whatnot i also got this cute little one which is kind of like a very early 2000s slash 90s little striped bag i remember these being really popular when i was growing up and i'm pretty sure my mom had a bag like this when i was a teenager and i really like the colors on this one so this also sold i think for five dollars i'm pretty sure i found this betsy johnson purse which is in pretty good shape it just has a little bit of staining on the inside on that classic pink 
floral lining they always have. I don't really remember what I sold this for. Maybe like $8? It was something like that. Yeah, yeah. Sounds right to me. I know Mary bought this one, so shout out Mary. Appreciate you. And she also bought from me this little sheepskin that I found. This is from Ikea. It's really, really in good condition. It smells good too because I sprayed it with that um, unstoppable spray. This thing is really cool. Sold that for, I think, $5 as well. That would make a great little rug or like put it over a couch. That's kind of what we do with things like that. And it always poshes up your house. So why the hell not? So this cute little like, it's almost like a bootleg boy bag Chanel kind of style. And then it has this cute little pearl handle. I'm pretty sure I sold this for four on whatnot. And I know Mary also got this piece, which is a totally like sheer kind of like daisy print vintage blouse. I was really excited to see that this is actually vintage and not Shein because it looked like one of those things that like it totally could be so that was fun um it did have a couple flaws unfortunately but mary says she doesn't mind so i sold this real cheap for like three dollars to her on whatnot and she also got this betsy johnson jacket which is a size small polka dot with big fat cute little heart buttons that was totally like a contradiction, but whatever. They're really cute. There they are. And I think this one I did five on, I'm pretty sure. Something like that. I yeah, really it's just remember. got a little bit of fading around the collar and just something that I didn't really feel like listing. So I was like, let's just, you know, get it going for cheap. That's totally fine. I also sold this cute little like harvest blanket. It's got pumpkins and mushrooms on it. I did used to have a bunch of other towels like this that were like fully mushroom decor. So I didn't even notice at first that this one had the little mushrooms on it, but somebody else did so i think i sold this one for four dollars i'm pretty sure something like that and people have been telling me on whatnot lately that they're looking for flannels so i found a few really really cute ones and this is one of them i'm pretty sure justine got this one this is from entro and the colors on this are just like super classic like very tumblr grunge like 2012 so i'm pretty sure this one got bid up a little bit i started it at five but it went up to about eleven dollars so that was a good pickup for sure and i think justine also got this one which is definitely like a fast fashion item but it's one of those things that again you can't really tell and it's just so super cute it's got the lettuce hem on the sleeves and it's got this cute little tie in the center doesn't say where it's from but yeah definitely like in the Shein scope of things because it has one of those really flimsy tags on the inside um, but I think I sold this for four or five so again just really cheap super cute layering item this is another flannel that's sold which i think again this one went up to maybe like 10. something like that yeah yeah this one's an eddie bauer this again is just like a really really classic color scheme for a flannel this one's like totally cotton too so definitely more desirable when the flannels are cotton it seems everybody was asking me last night what they were made out of so I think those were both really good pickups. I also sold this, which is just like a really simple little uh, Nickelodeon themed t-shirt. T-shirts do super, super good on whatnot. So I think this one I sold for five. I'm always looking for larger sizes of things too. So this one was a 1X. So I again grabbed this mostly to have a nice range of things. And it's cute. Like the colors are super cute on it. And it's got a wrap around print. So even though that one had a couple little marks on it, that is totally fine. Use a little OxyClean, it'll definitely come right out. I also sold on whatnot this Outcast t-shirt, which is a very modern one. I think this one's probably from like Urban Outfitters. I did a start of five on this, and I can't remember if that's what it sold for or not, but probably around there, five, six or so. And I also sold this Dare t-shirt. I think these three sold to Dirty Dell, so shout out Dirty Dell. This is just the little classic Lion Dare black t-shirt and then they also got this Marilyn Manson tee which I thought was like more like 2000s ish but everybody was like no that's 90s and I was like damn you guys thanks for saving my ass well I was gonna let it go for five but then I was like okay let's just do ten because I get I still just don't feel like listing it and I just wanted to make sure that everybody got a good deal anyway because I already told the guy five so I really appreciate everybody telling me to look more closely at what the tag was because yeah this just looks you know fairly modern to me. I feel like, like it's like early or 2000s yeah or even mid 2000s it's not like super old but it's not like crazy modern yeah the point is it's not just like a shitty urban outfitters t-shirt yeah. so it was worth a little more than like five dollars um some of them were going for like you know 30 or so online but i was cool with letting it go for 10 so as long as we were all happy i was like that works and then he asked for this t-shirt for a dollar which we gave to him so i hope that everybody was happy i'm happy yeah i found May that well. one yeah. i said yeah a dollar i'll yeah. let it go 
it came from bins today, so. So yeah, I'll even out. This one was, yeah, just a little golf wing tee, so. That one Nico, yeah, did find and buy, but since I sold it, I just figured I'd show it off. I also sold these Hot Topic pants, which I also have this in a size XL that I haven't listed yet, but this was a size small, and this one was missing the button right here, but it does still have the metal clasp. So I sold this for pretty cheap, I think like $4, but that's totally fine with me, because again, you know, I paid very little for it, so. So everybody wins there. I also sold this Realtree camo t-shirt. This one is new with the tags and Realtree has been really trendy this year. So this one is a mossy oak brand and I think I did five on this on whatnot as well. I also picked up, even though I'm like drowning in blankets over here, like I've been selling a few at yard sales, which is great because usually $10 a pop on a blanket at a yard sale, it doesn't hurt to pick them up if they're really cute. So this one caught my eye when we were at the outlet because it's all pastel. It's so freaking cute. Just like the perfect color scheme. So I did end up just throwing this on whatnot for five to see if anybody wanted it and somebody did. So that one is also off to its new home very soon. And then last but not least, I was going to show you guys what I gave away as a little swag bag at the beginning of our show. This is all stuff we also found the same day. So the first thing and the cutest thing is probably this little narwhal plush. He's new with tags. Adorable. He's probably somebody's carnival prize that they decided they didn't need. So now he's going to a happy little fun little home. And that's good for him and me. And I got this Paris scarf, which is really pretty thrashed. So I didn't really want to sell it, but I was like, it's still really cute. So I thought this was another just like really lightweight, fun thing to give away. Cause why not? And I actually also found this three pack of Burt's Bees hand creams. So I was like, who can't use hand cream? That's just True. a fun thing to win. I also threw in a pack of Anastasia cards because we use these all the time. And these M&M stickers I found as well. So I just threw those in. They have like glitter on the inside. Just like a fun little, again, just like lightweight thing. And I also threw in this bath bomb. So somebody won this entire swag bag and they also bought a couple of things. So that's awesome because now I get to ship it all together to them. And that's always super fun. Okay, that's everything that's sold on whatnot. So we're just gonna keep it moving because there's so much stuff and mostly just tell you like what it is and where we plan to sell it. All right, I'm gonna start off with this because it's preemptively sold to somebody <laughs> on Instagram. It is this Gangster Gumby, which, <laughs> Uh, one of the bin homies found, I can't think of his shop name, but I'll put it up on the screen because they have a cool like actual in-person shop. Glitter Gold Gumby, just super cool. I sold that for 26 shipped and thanks for reaching out on Instagram. I'll just show off a couple more things I picked up just specifically for whatnot. I grabbed this Rugrats shirt, kind of like a crop top kind of size. Just thought that was cool. Also grabbed this pink torti. Uh, I could throw this up on Depop. I feel like it might sit for a while, but we'll keep it in the whatnot shows. Put it up on Depop if it doesn't sell. I also grabbed this Smurf shirt. Super modern, but I thought, why not put that up on Whatnot? Someone will want it as well. Then, Simpsons, Homer. There is no such thing as a bad donut. Everyone can be on board for that. I think this is probably the last one I grabbed specifically for Whatnot. Still has the TJ Maxx tag on there. Tom and Jerry. Got him on the front looking just absolutely bonkers. And then, oh, speaking of bonkers, there, there it is. What? <laughs> I found this really cute little hat that um, Nico looks like a fucking Ollie Sykes lookalike in for some reason. <laughs> it's from Wendy's and it's tropical and I love the colors on it. Fucking Wendy's hat. Yeah, that's so random. What's that all about? <laughs> but yeah, I don't know um, what I'm gonna do with this yet. Maybe Buff Exchange, but I also might just keep it on the auction because why not? And this is a really cute little like kind of fairy grunge scarf. It's crochet with these little pops of flowers on it. I thought this would be a good one to auction as well but I could definitely sell this pretty much anywhere I feel like so that's an easy grab especially because we're going into fall. I found all of these little like boot socks. These are very like cottage core vibes because they have the little buttons and they're kind of in neutral colors so I figured this was like an obvious you know easy grab because I could probably sell these again to like Buffalo Exchange or like just keeping them on the auction or kind of doing whatever with freebie I don't know just an easy grab for sure. This I was kind of thinking flea market and actually come to think of it those would probably be something I'd bring to the flea market too and this was just like a brand new kind of thing it's really weird kind of like a cool little like 
styling piece if you're like layering a bunch of scarves I feel like but I'll probably start with the flea market for that one and just see I also found this really cute little hat oh my god like I love the little bill on it this is like that classic like little snowboarder bill but this is like just posh like just a cute little like hat situation I just love it this one would do good on Depop I feel like and Mercari I almost forgot I have one more pair of these they're all a little different so that's kind of fun I found a couple really cute bags too I found this really adorable XOXO one I absolutely love the color scheme and that it's kind of like a patchwork vibe um, this one I definitely was thinking about to Depop when I grabbed and actually this one still has the tag from Goodwill in it for $6.99 they were trying to get I found a Billie Eilish CD and I was like, you know what? The flea market that we're doing in a week is music themed. And I was like, I'm just gonna bring it. It's in there and it's in good condition. It's not scratched or anything. So I was like, sure, why not? You know, $3? I'm sure somebody will buy it. Nico found me this wallet, which is kind of similar to the one that I got in the last haul that I said I'm gonna upcycle. And Nico was thinking that maybe I could do something right here on this one. And I think I will. So thank you for grabbing that for me, baby. Sometimes when I find kids clothes, I just can't say no. So I found this. And the color scheme is so freaking cute. And it's got like velvet on it. This is from the brand. It's called like Orange something. I can't even read that. What does that say? I don't know actually. Yeah. Joy? Fair? Yeah, I it's like know. Orange Stay? Joy or something. <laughs> I don't but <know>. yeah, <laughs> so cute. Um, I'm going to bring this to the flea market and hopefully it'll catch somebody's eye and they'll need it. So I remember there being a lot of babies and children there last yeah. time. So why the hell not? I found this Disney scarf, which I was thinking this was just another good thing for like a flea market, yard sale, whatnot. Um, super cheap, you know, throw it on for like two bucks. And this is one of the grails of the day. I know that I was trying to find Ed Hardy last time we were there, but this time Nico came through with finding me the Christian Audige trucker hat. You yeah, know. We love to see it. <laughs> you can't find Ed Hardy every single time, but sometimes you just get lucky. So here we have it. This is definitely Definitely going on Depop. I'll put it on Mercari too, but you know, Depop is definitely like the place to get the most bang for your buck on Ed Hardy, so hell yeah. This is the first thing I found right when I walked in, and I found only one of them, and it took me a little bit of search and find the other one, but I eventually did. These are from the brand Tuck and they are just super cute like scene kid heels basically and they still have the tag from goodwill as well they were trying to get seven dollars my only complaint with these is there is a little bit of wear on the side you can kind of see where the checkers are like smearing a bit because they got like scuffed together so that's a little sad but honestly only people will see this side and this side looks great so i think they're gonna do fine on depop and probably i'll put them on mercari and whatever too but yeah on a couple cute little hello kitty things i don't yet know if i'm gonna keep these are not but this one is so adorable it's like just different like occasions and stuff like this one's like best birthday ever you can write on it this one's like a guest list this is for like halloween and new year's i don't know just like super cute I had to grab that obviously as well as this little birthday cake holding hello kitty mm -hmm. shut up i don't know where i'm gonna put this yet either but i'm definitely hanging on to that for a minute i'm just gonna start with this one it's probably my favorite one that i found this affliction hoodie which after inspection it is is a George St. Pierre collab, which is like one of the UFC greats. Honestly, was gonna just pass this off to her like I did the hat because she does better with this style until I saw it was that collab. So I'm probably gonna rock this for a little bit and then I don't know, eBay or Depop. I don't know how many Depop kids uh, watch UFC, so we'll see about that. This one I also was really excited when I found it just because of this really cool graphic. Daytona Beach, on further inspection, it is just John Galt, which is brand new melville but oh, wow. honestly it is super soft really clean and cool graphics so i can't complain with that it's still gonna do fine it's just yeah. we'd rather have the real vintage yeah, obviously like people go crazy for some of those brandy melville pieces like they'll be searching for them forever and pay a good price so yep. we'll see how that one does she actually found this one and passed it my way which look at these colors it is absolutely beautiful this will do good on depop the brand is koto i'm pretty sure that's sold at urban right yeah i think so i think it's just yeah made to look vintage yeah i've seen it somewhere it's modern but, but but it's, it's expensive. It's really cool. Yeah, these probably go for like honestly 80 to 100 dollars at Urban Outfitters. So still a good find. She also found this jacket, which I am pretty into. It's got that USA on the back. Super vintage. Love the collar on it. Bob, classic name. Who does not want to be called Bob when they're out and about? <laughs> so that was a obvious cop. Yeah, I found you some goods. Yeah, she also found this 
crazy Harley Davidson like heavy leather riders jacket. Like look at the um, uh, embellishment. Is that what you call it? I don't know. Leather work on that. Very cool. Harley Davidson official tag. Like this thing is high quality. The only thing is it's got like a tiny hole in the leather right there. But I don't think that detracts that much from its value honestly. Also got this. It's just kind of a basic uh, denim jacket. But it is more of a I believe 2000s. It's got that Route 66 tag, which I remember from when I was in like middle school. Size medium. Just a good basic for fall. I'll bring that to the flea market, see how it does. She might have grabbed both of these drug rugs for me, honestly. Yeah, which, ugh, I've kind of given up on picking them up, but these <laughs> two colorways are just pretty unique. I'm probably just going to go ahead and try to bring all of them to the flea market. I did last year, and I think two sold, so <laughs> it is what it is. Maybe we'll do like a live on whatnot where we have a lot of them or something just so people <laughs> can have their pick because it's kind of that season now this one's especially pretty and a and a good size so you know have to pick them up you just have to do it sometimes buffalo will take those two yeah that's true so, i mean that'd probably be an easier way to get rid of them if that is a good idea if you have the right one. yeah yeah okay i looked these up on mercari and some of them go for like 17 dollars or more so it's all of these little mini star wars themed lego sets oh yeah and they're new in the box um, one of them has a tiny slit somewhere, but it's like in a plastic bag inside, so I know nothing's missing. Yeah, Legos are worth money. Yeah, so I literally found all of these in a clothing bin for some reason, and I was like, yeah, let's check it out. So these are definitely a Mercari thing, um, and they are either going to sell there or nowhere. I might bring them to the flea market, <laughs> but that's it. I also, in a really random clothing bin, found all three of these Rit dyes, and they're all different colors. Fuchsia, sunshine oh, orange, yeah. and teal. And this is the kind where it's like a pack. It. Um, if you guys saw in one of my last vlogs, I picked up that neon green liquid stuff. I still haven't had time to try it yet, but now I have all these options. So someday we're going to do it. When the stains just won't come out. Yep. It's time to die. Exactly. Time to die. Okay. I love finding ribbon at the bins too. I pick out my favorite colors always. And I use these to wrap up people's packages with, with their Depop orders. So if somebody buys like a bundle of two t-shirts and I want to pre it up a little bit, put the thank you card in the middle of the two shirts with some ribbon foolproof cuteness. This is super sad because I spend a lot of time looking for the match mm -hmm. to this glove and I just couldn't find it. And I even said that if I found it, I would start believing in God. But no luck close there. One. Close one, close one. Because the day was going so good. I was like, if I find this missing mitten, like... <laughs> Like that would be crazy. So nope, not today. But I think I will still wear it because I can't sell it really. I could, but like who, who, you know? It's just got so much going for it though. It's got like the rabbit fur, it's got the studs and it's got these cute little puff balls. So I think I'm just gonna like rock it and like not give a shit about the other hand because why the hell not? I make the rules, it's my winter. I also found this bag, which is a little thrashed, but my God, is it cute? It says baby girl in the center and then it says baby girl all over it. And I love the straps. The only shitty thing is like, it does have its fair share of cracking. So I don't really know what I want to do with this. I'll probably bring it to the flea market just so people can like see it in person and maybe want to buy it for cheap. But yeah, I definitely couldn't leave it there because it's not that bad, you yeah, know? It's, it's like, it's still cute enough. It's been loved. I don't really know what to say as if anybody can tell me what this is, I would really appreciate it. I bought it because it probably costed me like 10 cents and I have a couple bags that need a strap. And I was thinking that this maybe could work as like some kind of strap. So I literally was just like, I'm gonna grab it. Yeah. But I think it's just like a lanyard or something. I just don't know what this rubber thing is for. <laughs> so yeah, if somebody knows, please tell me. This is one of the first things I found and I was like, I know it's gonna be a good day because I literally came upon this bag. That's how you're uh, acting all wild. Yeah, I was like, I'm high, I'm high! Because I was running around just finding good ass shit. I found this rhinestone, bedazzled, hacky as f giant bag. It's got zebra print, it's got snake print, it's got it all. It's huge, just fucking massive. And like the inside even looks really nice. So this is gonna be a Depop thing for sure. And this is gonna do really well on there, like to say the least. I could also put it on Mercari and it'll do really great on there too, so. We also got this Pusheen plush. Plushes do very good on Whatnot. So this is going to stay on Whatnot. And I know somebody will want it eventually. There were no takers yesterday for $5, but there's always next time. Pretty sure Nico found this one too. Yeah. Okay, and I found this 
shoe. This is from Lucky Brand and it's obviously like brand new and it's got like a pretty classic shape to it and color scheme. It's a little like boho. So I had this one in my cart for like probably an hour and I kept looking for the pair to no avail until literally somebody must have been hoarding the other one and they eventually dumped probably like 40 shoes in this one bin that they were rolling away and as they were rolling it away like you and some other dude were like oh all the shoes that yep. somebody probably and I was like oh my god that's my shoe like I found the pair in that pile like, so yes. I was like yes <laughs> it's like so exciting when you've been waiting to find the pair yeah, definitely and like yeah anybody else would have given up hope by now like that person did but I was like holding out and it actually worked out sometimes it works out so it's just really exciting I also found this weird little candy wrapper bag Nico was saying that it's like probably some kind of Hispanic candy yeah. oh yeah it, it does like say like Mexico limpio but I yeah. don't know what all that means but yeah I'm not sure what kind of candy it is so if anybody knows again please let me know in the comments so I can describe it properly but yeah I always grab these when I see them because I've had like dots candy ones before they don't sell for a lot but they're cute and I just think they're unique enough that I'm gonna grab them so may as well I also found this one which is like a tropical goth little like country club flamingo bag a little out of season now but I really don't care this one was just cute enough and for the price I paid for it I was like may as well so I'll probably leave this one on whatnot for now and eventually move it to like Depop and Rakari. And then these, I just think the colors, like it doesn't really get better than this. The freaking neon orange cowboy boot. It's wild. They look even cooler in person. Like I don't think they're showing their true glory, but the only thing I would change about these is I wish they were taller. I don't yeah. like that this is about as long as this. These should be like, couple inches taller they'd be on me and me alone but because they're a little shorter which I usually don't pick up the shorter ones so it was truly just the color scheme is why I grabbed these and they're in good shape I think these are a six it says and they're by Old West but yeah the bottoms are also in really good oh, shape so cool. yeah lightning bolts sick 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 these will be on depop all right i grabbed this one with full intention of me wearing it i just really like the colors on it i feel like it's a good palette it is a vintage one lined and everything for winter so hell yeah I grabbed this one with the intention of wearing it too but it's just so damn huge that i will be bringing this to the flea market is it extra large field and forest also a nice line i grabbed these zubas they are minnesota twins i will definitely be bringing these to the flea market i just saw the zuba tag and put it in my cart and then saw the twins later i think i'm having a heart attack <laughs> no we're fine <laughs> we're fine okay okay, okay. We're, we're thank good. god we're that was a close one everybody we're good i just felt one of those sharp pains <laughs> oh for my a god. second okay moving on because we're moving at the speed of lakes so i gotta moving go to work. on yep <laughs> But yeah, Zubas, going to the flea market, five bucks. Hopefully somebody grabs them. This is another really random one for me, but I thought it was just cool enough that I'd grab it, very unique. Uh, it is a hockey jersey for the Tampa Bay Lightning. So yeah, picked it up. I will probably put that up on Mercari because someone's gonna definitely want that high quality. I didn't see any other ones like that on Depop or eBay, so pretty unique. This one got me feeling really high. All I saw was like the tour dates on the back when a new bin came out and I just snatched it up, had it on my shoulder for like, you know, a good 10, 15 minutes, however long it took me to go through all the bins. And then finally somebody asked me, oh, did you find any good shirts on your shoulder there? And I was like, I don't know, let's take a look. And I flipped it over and it's freaking Neil Diamond. So this is like a, I don't know, $20 shirt, but hey, 90s tour tee, I'll take it, I'll take it all day. This is another one that had like, kind of like that 3D emblem one had, that Harley Davidson one where the collar is just off of it. They were doing different things back then. What can I say? She found a couple button-ups for me, which I'll show off really quick. This cool skater skeleton with like the mm -hmm. holiday vibes, real California style here. You. I'll put that up on Depop for sure. That's one that I know Buffalo would take probably too. Yeah. Like when it goes into spring again. That's what I was saying, maybe Buffalo, but they're so long until like it's that yeah. season again here that I'll probably put it up online before that. And if it's mm -hmm. still around, I'll bring it to Buffalo. This one's so crazy. I'm <laughs> yeah. like, should I wear this a few times just for the hell of it? Just because it's kind of <laughs> funny and honestly, kind of sick. It's right? like it's got skulls these and shrooms. like mushrooms and skulls, it's like mushrooms growing out of skulls. Like, is this going to be too tacky for me to wear? I don't know. I'm going to try it on and maybe wear it somewhere at least once. Wear it to like a dance party or something. <laughs> really play the character, you know? Jesus. <laughs> what is the character? I'm on drugs. <laughs> Time to grab a new pile. 
like, ah, there's always more stuff. All right, this one wins the award for weirdest smelling item I found. Oh, jeez. I don't know what this is. It's going straight in the washing machine. Oy. It's not like a gross smell per se, but it's something strange. I can smell it. Yeah. But this is also very, very cute. This is a Maurice's little, like, it looks like wool, but it's acrylic. So again, straight in the washing machine. Gonna drown this thing in Unstoppables. We're obsessed with Unstoppables now, by the way. If you guys haven't tried them, you must. Unstoppables, please sponsor me. This has become a critical part of my laundry routine. Gets the smells out of f***ing anything. This, though, is a size medium, and I promise it'll smell better in no time, and it'll be available for you to buy on my Depop. This is a pair of skinny jeans, which I would normally not be picking up anymore, but they are free people, so I was like, well, I guess, because they were probably like, you know, $90 new, and they're in good shape. They're a unique color, so this is something that I would try to give to Buffalo first, but they're honestly not taking skinny jeans right now either, so maybe flea market, Mercari, that's something that I'm probably not going to do that good on Depop, so whatever. This is a size large, and I thought this was a cute little like cozy kind of like grunge sweater. I like the color of it. It's kind of like a dark olive green with these little black stars. I feel like anytime I get something that has stars on it, it does well on Depop. So put that on Whatnot first. Didn't sell last night. Now if I have time, it'll go on Depop. Otherwise I'll keep it on there. These are unfortunately just from Shein. If they were from the 60s and vintage, my God, would that be amazing? But no, they're just Shein, but they are cozy and they are cute. So this is something I grabbed mostly for Whatnot. No takers last night because they're a little too small for everybody. But that's something that also I think Buffalo Exchange would take. Buffalo Strange takes Sheen all the time. I see it everywhere. So easy peasy pick up on that. And I also found this Free People dress, which this one is pretty desirable, I would say, because of the intricacy of the sequins and the color scheme. This one is a size small. This I could very easily get rid of at Buffalo Exchange, but it would also probably do totally fine on Depop or Mercari. And I grabbed this too because I kind of wasn't sure, but again, Buffalo Exchange would probably be the place to try to get rid of this first, just for a couple bucks, because it is a Target sweater. And I don't want to go through all the trouble of listing it just to get a couple bucks. So definitely something for like whatnot, easy flip, one of those places. I'll bring it to the flea market probably, put $5 on it, hope for the best. Same with this, this is a Shein flannel, but it's a really cute color scheme. So for like probably the 50 cents I paid for it, I still like thought it was cute enough to get and we're just saving it from the landfill. So I guess, you know, it doesn't matter. I would wear it, so it's a good one. This I could definitely take to Buffalo Exchange as well and probably get rid of really fast for like, you know, just a couple bucks in trade but because I shop there all the time that trade adds up fast so this is kind of different from all the other stuff I grabbed because I don't usually pick up stuff like this anymore but this one is very like maximalist tropical vibes in really good shape this one's from dress barn and I think it's like probably 90s and this is a size 6 so I love this one honestly I'll probably put that on Depop and Mercari I actually saw these coming out in a new bin of like all the shoes and like hats they have I decided not to go for them and then that sim guy that gave me the Gumby as he was leaving he handed these off to me he's like do you want these because I just don't want to deal with them it's like hell yeah sure why not Panda Dunks these are so trendy right now and they are a smaller size it says 8 but I don't know if that's a women's 8 or what it doesn't say like 8Y or anything like that but yeah I'm gonna bring these to the flea market and somebody is definitely gonna want them if the shoe fit <laughs> yeah I'm gonna just go through all these bottoms I found really quick she actually found these which are are pretty cool honestly fox racing really pretty colors they are a size 31 so pretty good size all around they have that mall goth energy and fox racing is becoming a little more trendy right yeah now. super cool nice board shorts I actually sold that Fox Racing Thermal and whatnot last night, the yeah. one that we got in our last live. I sold that one for $10. That okay. one was really cool. It was. I grabbed these pair of Lee pants. Honestly, I grabbed these for me so I could wear them for work. They seem like they're going to fit. I haven't tried them on yet, but God, I almost choked myself. I heard. I heard your voice <laughs> go. <laughs> it says size 8, whatever that means. I guess I'm a size 8 in women's, maybe. But yeah, just a really pretty plaid. She found these shorts for me. Kind of getting out of short season, but some places it's short season all year long people are still hitting like heat waves record numbers so oh, yeah. these are again mongoth like post-apocalyptic dystopian vibes so. yeah it's got really cool pockets it's got kind of like an acid wash kind of look to it or like bleaching kind of look to it so I thought that was cool she also grabbed these <clears throat> like hurley cargo shorts which come on are you even hardcore if you don't wear cargo shorts <laughs> made by hurley size 32 do you pass these ones off to me too they 
get our Urban Pipeline. Comes with like this belt in there already. Size 32. Got the classic like zip off into shorts cargo look. So yeah. Thought I'd grab those. If anything, like I could just bring them to Buffalo Exchange and I'm sure they would take them. Camouflage is a Y2K staple piece though. Oh so yeah. So I always stock my shop full of camouflage. I love it. Oh yeah. I have like four or five different kinds of camo pants mm -hmm. that I have that I wear personally. So if those fit me, maybe I'd wear them, but they don't. <laughs> and then kind of at the end when they stopped bringing new bins out, this random girl when I was walking around was like, do you want these? I'm going to throw them back. So I was like, yeah, why the hell? not their cargo khakis tony hawk style size 32 i am going to bring these to buffalo as well i'm sure they'll take them why wouldn't they they look like they're like brand new condition so yeah picked them up got this bass pro shop hat if anybody can explain to me why these are so popular right now i would love to know i'm gonna bring this to the flea market see if i can get rid of it for like five dollars if not i will throw it up on mercari probably depop too there is a little bit of some wear right there, but I don't think that should really matter. That's kind of the vibe. You're fishing, you know? I also found this cute little silk cami top. People have been asking for cami tops every once in a while when I do whatnot. So this was like an obvious one to grab because it's silk and the color scheme is really desirable, I would say too. It's just like a super like neutral brown and white. I also found this kind of like dead Tupac Biggie and Easy E wrap tee, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody cut the neck and it's kind of got that just like thrashed like mogoth vibe about it and this is also a 3x so i was like you know have some variety have some inclusivity grab that for sure got this dare shirt that's a little too patriotic for my likings but for some reason dare shirts always sell so i was like why the hell not i also found this armani exchange shirt which i got mostly because of the rhinestones i kind of contemplated throwing this one back because it's just like not quite it but it's like it enough that it's so light i was like I I could obviously easily sell this on like Mercari or something. So I did grab it. I just wish it was a more fun brand, but it is what it is. It's still got the rhinestones. It's got the bling. So it's coming home. This one is Day Trip. And this definitely reminds me of like 2004. So I was like, gotta grab this. This is like a cute little scene queen top. It's got mixed textures. It's got the lace running through it and all the animal prints. So that one I will probably end up selling on Depop, I suspect. And this is in that same realm of style. It's a black and silver striped tank top. I literally had this exact tank top in silver and gray when I was 17 and I wore it all the fucking time. So gotta get it. Gotta get that scene queen nostalgia. Nico found me this Adidas one, which is just like a classic. It's just like a ribbed little kind of like, you know, middle embroidery there, but health goth vibes. And Nico also threw me this Grim Reaper shirt. He's like, do you want this? And I was like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so honestly, this will sell on Depop, I'm sure. Like not for a lot, but it's a size medium and it's just got that like kind of like cringy Mogoth, like almost like sarcastic energy about it. So it'll sell. Hey, I was going to keep it and list it myself, but I know <laughs> she's a little bit more on top of it and it's yeah. uh, probably easier for her to sell. So. When I take a picture of that with my pink cross bag. It's oh. gonna be a vibe. Oh yeah. This is a cute little faux fur vest. Unfortunately it's Forever 21 but I really like that it has this like detail that you can do on the front or the back where you can tie it and it's a size small. I think this is a good layering piece. You know again nothing that you can make a lot of money off of but if you get it for really cheap and it's really cute and trendy why not pick it up. I got this red dare t-shirt as well. The last time I had a red dare t-shirt it sold really quickly I think for like 15 plus shipping on Depop so may as fucking well. This one is a size small and I also found this super thrashed little Nirvana t-shirt and um, it has like these like back cutouts. Somebody kind of like tied it up over here on the side. This one has a date of 2007 and I threw this on whatnot to see if anybody would want it and no takers last night but we'll try again next time and then I'll probably eventually move it to Depop if it doesn't sell and I have time so I kind of doubt that'll ever happen. It'll probably sell on whatnot way before that happens. I also got this ACD crop top that Nico threw to me because it's a crop top and I could model it probably a little better than he could. Well, just, debatable. just a little. Debatable. A little. This is a size medium. So yeah, that's gonna be another one, not one basically. This one's really cool. I honestly love finding mid-2000s Maurice's stuff because it's always like just the tackiest Mogoth <laughs> shit. Nico threw me this one and yeah, just like fun. These like angel wings, it's got like a bunch of different designs all over it and it has that like distress 
less detail all over the hood where it's kind of like that so this one's gonna do amazing on depop and i'll probably be able to make like over 30 dollars on that honestly so yeah this is a hot hot pink real tree sweatshirt this is one of my favorite colors and if you've been anywhere on the internet you've probably seen that real tree is really trendy right now so i was like why the hell not the only thing with this is i do have to depill it pretty badly it's so pilly but after i wash it i have one of those little electronic guys that almost makes depilling fun so when i have time i'm just gonna sit down spruce it up i think that one will probably sell on depop i got this queen shirt honestly probably should just put this on whatnot because i'm sure it'll sell pretty modern looking but i feel like you don't see queen shirts a lot so I had to grab it this one i thought was really cute this vintage christmas bear it says very naughty kind of like glittery print in there there's no size on this tag it just has a snowflake so <laughs> do with that what you will <laughs> this is a 5xl batman shirt he says i like the nightlife you know what batman i do as well so 5xl we got you this was another one that's probably up there on my favorites. It's just kind of basic, but whatever. It's this 2000s Adidas long sleeve, good brown colorway. The Adidas in there is embroidered. What does it say? Nothing is impossible. Or wait, impossible is nothing. That's the spirit. Exactly. That's what I was thinking. So <laughs> pick that up. Thought that was really cool. Grab this off a bin. They were just pulling away, which is a just a big face tie dye wolf. Really cool, realistic prints. It is on. On the mountain size XL had to grab that she found this one I actually saw this on somebody's cart like in the bottom section they must have threw it back decided they didn't need it I have the bigger version of this so thought I'd grab it it'll probably look good at the flea market having the two next to each other in a little bundle if somebody wants to grab those found this Ninja Turtles honestly some of these go for a lot of money just individually even used it is 1991 Mirage Studio he doesn't have a football but he's got like the action arm <laughs> this one is a grail of towels it is the monster energy drink towel and it is <laughs> huge actually i yeah. didn't realize this was so big this could be a blanket on a twin size bed honestly if it wasn't so uncomfortable <laughs> but yeah i mean had to grab it wash it i personally want to use it that's gonna look good sitting poolside Sick someday are going to the beach so definitely had to grab it are we it. keeping this oh yeah <laughs> at least for a while we gotta take a picture with it with our monster that's what i'm saying like the opportunities are endless Hell with that yeah. guy she Oops. threw this my way as well i just saw it on the top of my cart when i came back at one point uh just this really cool i don't know what style you call this back southwest or like peruvian or something yeah but yeah it has the little llama or our alpaca there and i believe that <laughs> is what it's made of of because it is soft so i thought that'd be a good that. flea market thing yeah honestly it's it's really cool i've my, seen oh. buffalo take stuff like that too so oh yeah I don't totally know. somewhere oh my god i forgot about this one holy shit this pfizer necktie let me get in there close it's a bunch of little pills that say pfizer on them <laughs> got the official pfizer right there what the lip is this did you look like, this up online yeah these don't go for like a big amount of money like 15 that's not bad for a tie you know five to fifteen dollars yeah. so i'll get that listed up on ebay or something hopefully make a couple quick bucks i have a couple more things and i'll let her finish off with her little pile over there but this is just one of these classic blankets thought the colorway was neutral enough where somebody could match this with any room in their house all right two last things mm -hmm. i got this tripod because why not it was new in the box hopefully it's not like one of those amazon returns or something where it's broken in there but <laughs> if it is i will re-donate it and the cycle continues <laughs> last thing best thing of the day here peanuts paddle ball i feel like those have never been that fun but like i really want to use it paddle ball <laughs> i can never get hey. them to like go very far it's fun for a couple minutes yeah until you're not good at it and then it's like one of those like popping bubble things where it's kind of just like if you have like yeah. attention problems it feels good that's true so i think i'd enjoy it <laughs> yeah well we'll bust it open we'll uh do a tutorial in a vlog for you the next thing nico found and it's probably one of my favorite things that i got actually so we really hooked each other up this time that's why it's so 
nice to go together because like he finds things that I don't find and vice versa and it's just fucking awesome. These are bongo. These are like prep school, academia, like just yeah, so cool. cute. And like obviously mid 2000s, early 2000s, really good shape too. Like way better than you would ever think. I'm trying to figure out like what size a these are. Indie vibe with those. Oh, totally. Going on. Yeah. All right. After putting these on my foot, I suspect they're about a six because they're pretty tight on me and I'm like a true six and a half slash sometimes seven. So a little too small for me. That's okay. I need to sell them anyway. I need money, but <laughs> you know, these are just simple little boohoo shorts. I got them because they still have the tags on and this is definitely something that I'm going to just try to sell the Buffalo Exchange. Buffalo Exchange always takes like fast fashion with the tags on it. So again, why not? Here's another one of those like I just can't pass it up kids clothing items. Hello Kitty dress. So cute. Oh my God. I'm again going to bring this to the flea market. This is a four T and this is from 2017. Yeah, just precious. Oh my God. This would be so good for somebody's birthday party if you have a child. I also found these, which I think are, yeah, Fashion Nova. And these are also new with the tags. So I was like, eh, why not? And they're 1X. So again, trying to just have a size range for everybody when we do whatnot. This one I'm probably going to load into the next show or bring to Buffalo Exchange, whichever comes first. Because only going to sell one of those places. I'm not going to bother with it any more than that. This one's really cool too. And this one is definitely like a very like fairy grunge kind of situation, like forest nymph. It's got the textures. It's got these little florals up here and it's super long. So that's really fun. And that is a size XL. Oh, and here's the tag because I've never heard of this brand, but it's kind of interesting. I also got these kind of like cargo pants, like capris, and they say they're a size three. So I was like, well, they kind of look big enough to fit me. I was like, I kind of want to get these and sell them because they're really cool. I ended up trying them on in the bins. They fit me. So I was like, I'm going to grab them. But yeah, like the style is really fun. I really like the pockets and I really like this detail on the back as well. So I'm just going to, you know, do the measurements and everything, but I had to grab them. These I think are just from Target, but they're like a lookalike of, I think, is it House of Sunny that does this pattern? I don't remember now, but this is like a really popular pattern. And basically this is Target's version of it. And they do have like the flared kind of like bell bottom legs. So just like a cool like 60s, 70s vibe pant. And these are size medium. I plan to bring those to Buffalo Exchange. And if they don't take them, then put them on whatnot. I also found this cute little lingerie slip. This one is very, very small and it's really short. So I was thinking this would just be again, a good one to practice on with my fabric marker or something or just, yeah, keep it and print on it eventually. Nico found this super duper bootleg Yves Saint Laurent hoodie or sweatshirt, I guess. And it's like a mix of like gray and like, it's almost like a pink color. And then has this pink kind of polka dot right in the middle. <laughs> so I was like, eh, I don't know if I should get this or not. I decided I'm gonna bring it to the flea market and probably like, I don't know, $5. See what happens. Just see what happens. Or I guess I could just like give it away in a giveaway, but it won't fit everyone. So I'm always a little hesitant on giving away clothing on whatnot. Cause I feel bad that not everybody can wear it so we'll see but one of those things Nico found these pants which are like total like trendy as hell depop rave pants basically this is for like the New York kids it has a little dragon on the back right here and that is the funnest detail about these but this shape is just really trendy in general I wish I could show these off better without like Michi in the background and everything but these will be in my depop and yeah if you see like pants like this like definitely pick them up they're like rave basically like techno pants and they be trendy and they be selling for a lot of money sometimes. If this, if these had like even more embroideries going on, they'd be worth more money. But it's even like that little, out. yeah, that little dragon even though is a really good thing to see. Okay, so this is so sweet. I saw this lady pick up these Miss Me jeans next to me and I couldn't stop thinking about them. And it literally was just like on my mind. Like I couldn't get over it. I saw this in the bin and I was like, <sighs> You know, but she definitely had them first. So I just let her go about her way with them. And then finally I was like, I'm gonna ask her if she'll trade something with me. So I asked her if she wanted to dig through my carts because I was like, you got those Miss Me jeans, right? And it was so funny. She actually ended up showing me these ones, which I didn't even know she had, but it was a whole nother pair she had. And so I was like, yes, those are the ones. And then she kind of like looked at my cart like so briefly. And then she was like, oh, yeah, you can have them. And I was like, are you sure? And then she gave me the other one too. She's like, and I have these. And I was like, oh my God. I was like, that's the original one I saw. And I was like, are you sure you don't want to go through 
through my cart and she kind of was just like eh. she was like shoes or adidas so i literally like all the rest of the day i was looking for shoes and adidas for this lady and eventually she left before i could give her the stuff that i found but her friends were still there so i ended up giving the stuff to her friends but you know it's just so sweet i just really appreciated that and i thought it was so kind so bless that woman because i absolutely love these jeans and these are gonna do awesome on depop like these are like the kind of miss me jeans that you hope you find and you hope you find them at the bins and not at savers because savers will charge you 25 dollars for them so these are a size 28 and it's the signature boot cut which obviously those do way better than the skinny style and these are size 27 boot cut but yeah these are so cool they're like all distressed and like just perfect fade on those so that is one of my favorite things also from this haul nika found me these micro mini shorts which are very blinged out on the pockets and the front as well and this is from the brand almost famous so that is another good 2000s brand and those are going to be really cute so fine on depop these i don't know what brand they are but i'm suspecting it's like something similar to sheen or target um these are really trendy pant style or they have been i think they're a little less trendy now but when i was doing mystery bundles i saw these on pinterest a lot because people sometimes would ask for stuff like this so i wish i had had these back then because yeah i feel like somebody asked for something almost exactly like this once but yeah i was thinking about these probably depop or buffalo exchange or something like that the wide leg though the wide leg is very in right now so you definitely want to be looking for that style when it comes to pants which is also why i grabbed these these are very like grungy and they have lots of pockets on them these are also fast fashion but my god are they cool so this would be a really good one too for like depop but also buffalo exchange would definitely take these so that's a no-brainer on those really cool color scheme nico ended up finding me this like crazy little gucci like satin shirt this is fun yeah it's cool actually <laughs> i love the crown it's got that classic little crown it's got the b gucci gucci so you know had to grab that don't really know what i'm gonna do with this might wear it once might sell it in the flea market take a picture of you in that yeah look at the size on that thing insane there's no way there's no maybe way maybe yeah right like what the fuck Okay, this is also one of the best things we got in the same haul, and Nico found this one for me too, so thank you, baby. Kind of. This affliction shirt. We were both digging in the same bin, and I was like, well, you found it first. <laughs> I said, give me time. <laughs> it has this crazy cross on the back. Oh, I love that. Yeah, I didn't even see what it looked like. That one's cool. That's such a good detail. That's a good one. Yeah, and then, yeah, it's got this shoulder detail as well this one is x large so yeah that one will do really good on depop for sure um i almost forgot about this goofy trucker hat this is vintage and it is just comical but yeah it's actually in the same bin as that christian ahige hat was in the same bag so i thought this would be another good one for whatnot but also i wouldn't mind putting it on and selling it on depop sometimes it's all about the styling you know and if you can make an item look cool on you sometimes that's all you need last but not least I have two more things that are both super cute. This is a very model off duty leather trench. I'm not sure yet if this is real or not because it feels pretty in feels, between. I feel like it feels real to me. Yeah. I haven't, again, I'm not sure. I haven't tried to learn about it yet. Let's see what it says. Leather and fox fur. Fox fur. Fox fur. I know it felt plush. I know. I was like, it almost feels like too plush. Yeah, for sure. Like kind of like a weird thickness to it. Yeah. I don't know. But yeah. Holy sh like this i could sell for like a hundred dollars so that's nice this is gonna pay for the whole haul alone probably hell yeah we love to see it mark new york andrew mark size uh probably like a medium or a large i don't know i'll figure that out later or just ask in the comments if you're curious but yeah i know that one's gonna do good on depop i've been selling coats like crazy all summer like anytime i have a coat from like my personal collection or even one from the outlet they sell so fast and they sell for good money always so hell yeah okay last thing miko found me is this adorable little pastel pink teddy bear shirt i would totally wear this i have a lot of teddy bear night wear things this one it says i think is a size large you're mine me of you oh totally i love it i probably will sell this one just because like i need it to be money and not more clothes in my closet but <laughs> if i could keep everything you know i would this is just precious so that'll for sure be on depop i hope you guys liked this haul i'm super excited about it i'm excited to find the time to get it where it needs to go and if you guys saw anything that you'd like to purchase from us and you want to buy it directly on depop you can message us there mine is 
one sick kitten and he goes is 1-800-GHOST DANCE if you liked anything that you saw of his today and if you'd like to buy it at a discounted price directly from us on Instagram my Instagram is one sick kitten with all letters and his is 1-800-GHOST DANCE also don't forget to check out our link in the description of each video to sign up for whatnot so you can hang out with us live and shop our things and chat with us and get to know us a little bit better we would love to see you there and you get $10 off your first purchase when you use my code in the description so thank you guys so much for watching we love you so much and i hope you have a beautiful day bye